Hey everybody, welcome back to the Gamer Trials, and today we're going to be getting into another Monster Hunter Rise mining guide video, and today we're going to be getting Carbolite Ore found in high rank quests, and if you haven't gone into high rank yet, please do uh, come back when you are eligible, but for right now we're going to be doing expedition tours in high rank. So starting off, we're going to do Shrine Ruins. And if you watched the previous Mining Guy video for Shrine Ruins, you'll know the route exactly that I'm going to take. But this is the map that you want to get into for getting your uh, Carbolite Ore very easily. Um, let me eat first. Right here, you'll find that you can get... What was it? Different types of specials for the day. I got Money Maker, which is not what I want. So I won't eat. Um, I think Explorer is the Back one that you want to get. That lets you pretty much gather up all of the uh, gathering spots. And then having them respawn a little quicker. I think two videos ago or something like that. I ended up saying uh, something else was that ability. But I keep forgetting what it's called because it's so much different in this game. Now, I would recommend eating, just so your stamina is maxed, but I didn't even want to bother. First things first, we go up to this wolf statue, just like how we did last time, and from then on there, it's pretty much the same route. But just to show you guys, you do get Dragonite Ore, Macalite Ore, and Carbolite Ore on these maps. Any of the outcrops can yield any of these. But you're not going to be getting any earth crystals or any iron ore uh, because it is high rank. So I'm just going to make this video a little quicker. I know <laughs> I ended up failing a couple of times. Can I go up? Sheesh. Where is it? Here it is. I knew it was somewhere quick. And there you go. Carbolite ore. We got two. Oh, and we did get Earth Crystal, so I'm a big fat liar. But I think there's a lower chance of you getting those, because it's something very common. Even though it seems to be a little rare, which is really, really, really weird. Um, if you want to head up here, you can, but it just throws everything off. So if you just want to follow my uh, initial route, you'll pretty much get what you need to get in just one go around. You only need at least 10 in order to get any of the iron weapons or any of the uh, village weapons upgraded to its first uh, high rank, I guess, upgrade. So if you haven't already, try to upgrade those if you're trying to get the, the village weapons pretty much maxed out up to this point. But here's the second one. And it seems like it's the first of many white, like, mining crop areas. If you're feeling quite, you know, feisty or whatever, you can head to that one. Maybe I'll show you guys in a little bit. Hey, there we go. You could get the one all the way in the back of the ear. I usually see this one for last only because it, um, it kind of closes off many of the uh, like routing guides that I did in the past so usually the ones that are like closest to like the front of the map or the back of the map I should say I kind of saved those for last but you can get that one if you'd like and now we're gonna like run all the way up to five because I know five has a white spot I think or maybe a blue spot I think it might be a blue one am I headed the right way if not just start climbing I might have forgotten the route because I haven't really played this map. Oh, yeah, but here it is. So I was correct. Next episode, we're going to be getting into the Sandy Plains. I don't think... And I don't think there is any new uh, ores but Carbolite. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. Um, I think we head this way. Yes, we do. In fact, let's head down here. And if you are uncertain like I am, just quickly go back into your map. Check off which ones that you want to see. I want to see all of the white ones. 
So there's three around here in between five and eight. So if you just, just jump down here, go behind you, and you'll see a little monument and also your white mining crop. All right. I think that's pretty much it, you know, guys? It's just like the first video. I'm trying to make this nice and easy for you guys, not waste your time. Uh, so that's how you get carbolite ore. Uh, don't forget to kind of go around here and not get that one behind me just yet, just because it's all the way down. Down there, and you don't want to go back up. And be sure to hit up these bone piles too, because if you're upgrading the bone trees, you're going to get Twisted Rock Bone, which is a, a high rank variant of the Twisted Bone that you get from there. Alright, we're going to we're gonna go down here just a little bit. I didn't feel like getting that. I guess here's kind of the last one if you're following what I'm doing. Don't forget to pick up those god bugs for creating or crafting, you know, mega demon drugs and stuff like that. Because now that we're in higher rank, we're going to need those. And that's pretty much it, really. I mean, like, if you guys want, let me, let me put up the blue one. So if you go all the way up to 11, just to show you guys. The different spots it's the same thing but we're just in higher rank we're just in a different we're just in a different difficulty Eskirgot now I just picked up an Eskirgot shell basically that prevents you from fainting in battle which is cool so if you know where they are in any of the maps you can pretty much save your skin uh, once or maybe twice depending on if you can find more than one on the map. But yeah, definitely. That's a really nice tip that I uh, picked up while I was playing online. Now, many of you might have noticed if you were... If you've been following along, I, I, I have the... Uh, uh, what's it called? Jesus Christ. Um, Magnamalo. Or Magnamalo. Magnamalo. Um, set. It's pretty good, too. So if you're thinking about going into high rank, just get his armor, like completely, just a full armor set, and I think you'll be just fine. Uh, these rock lizards give off armor spheres, so if you want to pick those up, do so. Anytime you see those boulder lizards or those rock lizards, pick them up because to upgrade your weapons... Oh, not your weapons, your armor. I apologize. You're gonna need those. Now you just jump down all the way here, and then that pretty much just, like, ends it. That ends the whole entire route. So, yeah. Like I said, I lied. I'm a big fat liar. Iron ore and earth crystals do spawn in high rank, but the run-of-the-mill blue spots do yield those. So, yeah. You can... Make fun of me in the comment section below, and make fun of me as many times as you like. But that's it. That that's really it. So once you're done with that, you could just go straight back to four. Let me zoom in. You can go straight back to four, back to five, and then do all of, you know, area eight, and then go back around if you'd like. That's pretty much it. That's how you get carbolite. We're in buying Monster Hunter. <laughs> Rise. It's a really cool armor set. I really love it. It's one of the many samurai looking ones that look really cool. He looks like a like a samurai demon deity or, or whatever. And it's awesome. The weapons look brilliant too. That's pretty much it, everyone. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more Monster Hunter Rise videos, content, etc. I'm gonna be live streaming a little bit later today or you know whenever I can doing the uh, solo village quests. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. And as always, just keep gaming, my friends.